Welcome to the tutorial video for our best software. I will describe how the best software works. Let's begin by starting the best software. The overview screen has different elements. At the top, we have the toolbar with new, open, and save. Settings is for changing settings, such as the language, and connect is used for connecting to a device. To the left, we have different menus, overview, monitoring, configuration, and alarms. I will describe these a little bit later. In the middle, we have overview, counters, and information. Once we have connected to a device, data will be shown in these sections. I will start creating a new project. The list of products currently contains VeriSpeed, CSV compressors, the SEI protection device, the CMRC01 and CMSW01 controllers, and the new EcoStar LHV5E and 7E condensing units. In this case, I will select the SEI-1 protection device for demonstration. SEI-1 is a protection and monitoring device for screw compressors. As there are no further options, I will click OK to continue. After a short setup time, BEST will show an overview window for the SEI-1 protection module. The overview screen has adapted itself to the SEI-1. To the left, we can still see overview monitoring, configuration, and alarms. In the toolbar, there are now two new buttons, Get Data Log and Update Firmware. I will now click the Connect button to get data from the SEI-1 connected to this computer. After a short while, we get data from the SEI-1 on our overview screen. The most relevant operating data of the device is shown in the overview section. In Information Encounters, we find information like serial numbers, as well as the operating hours of the compressor and device. To the right, the application range of the compressor is shown, including the current operating condition. The exact information available depends on the product selected. By double-clicking on the application range window, it is possible to enlarge it as well as to go back to the normal view. In the monitoring section, we can find all available operating conditions, for example, the overall status of the compressor, temperatures including evaporating and condensing temperature, electrical conditions, and so on. In the configuration section, we can find all configurable parameters. These are always shown in three columns, which show the default setting, the current setting of the device, as well as the user setting, where it is possible to make changes to the configuration. For example, I will now change the compressor configuration to turn off the economizer. I select No, and as you can see, BEST has applied the new setting. I will now update the SEI-1 with this new setting. The Transfer button transfers this new setting to the SEI-1. There are different transfer options. You can transfer user values to the device, where you could just change something. You can transfer the default values to the device, and you can copy the current values to our user values. Here I will select the first option. Please remember that we cannot change parameters on a running compressor. I will click OK to start the transfer, and after a short time, the SEI-1 is reconfigured. We can now see that the SEI-1 has been reconfigured to turn off the economizer. Next. I want to see if any alarms have been recorded by the SEI-1. I can see that a previous alarm has been recorded by a discharge temperature sensor, but it's no longer active. As the alarm is not active anymore, we can clear this alarm by pressing the Reset button. By clicking on the Get Data Log button, we receive an older analysis from the SEI-1. To save it, BEST suggests a default file name and I will keep this default file name. As the data log may contain a lot of data, it can take a while to get the data log from the SEI-1. Back on the overview window, we can see that everything is normal. And I will disconnect the device. Thanks for watching this video, and I hope you watch some of our other videos. Thank you.